So I'd just like to uh, start us with a quick blessing. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for all of these volunteers, Lord. And that um, nobody gets hurt today, Lord, and that we accomplish all that we're setting out to do today to help out the Wilkinson family, Lord, and we appreciate the service that he did for our country. We just thank you and ask that you be with us all today. Thank you in your son's name. Amen. Amen. We are painting the gutter? We are. All right. Am I on video? Yes. Hey! So there's lots to be done. This is really a year-long process that, uh, that culminates on National Rebuilding Day, and so to actually be here and see our volunteers working and get to really see our homeowners interacting with them. And there's Tim. Tim's the homeowner. Tim. And, and seeing the work being completed. And it's just the transformation that we're able to make um, in a single day is really just truly amazing. And, and we could not do that without our volunteers. This year, Rebuilding Together Duchess took on 10 renovations across the county. Of the 10, Four are Heroes at Home projects, which focus on veterans and their families. On this rebuilding day, roughly 350 community volunteers were engaged in the process of neighbor helping neighbor by bringing each resident's home to a state that is warm, the cornerstone, safe. It's not safe for them to climb in and out and dry. Put nail caps down so that we get through all that rain we had on Sunday. It gives them an investment not only in their county, but really in their backyard. Um, and that's that's truly a wonderful match, not only for homeowner, but our volunteer and our organization. Yeah, because I'll put an A style instead of this kind, or a B, right, right. whichever one, bring to bring it over and then run it down. The toughest thing is phasing the work so that we're not on top of one another or creating a unsafe condition. We'll probably put a little leg on it on the bottom. Yeah. Tearing off a roof and repairing a roof on a house is serious business, especially when you're working with volunteers, you know. We really have to be careful with that kind of thing. And it's really amazing what some simple building materials and the spirit of volunteering can do to change a person's life. All of the things that we focus on um, bring everything to a warm, safe, dry environment for uh, Tim and his family. Tim lives here with his elderly mother as well. Really, he tries to do as much as he can, but he's very limited. He's unable to climb a ladder. He's unable to really get around the house like he used to. Now disabled as a result of his military service, Tim enlisted into the U.S. Navy in 1986 after his 18th birthday, but by 1990, he was on his regular deployment when he was called to Iraq because of the invasion of Kuwait. Tim's detachment was the first to fire the shots in the Persian Gulf War. First shots of war. Yeah, we were charged with uh, getting rid of the, the Iraqi Navy, which uh, <laughs> didn't take long at all. This is the National Defense Medal. This is Armed Forces Expeditionary. The, the, most, the, the, the one that really stands out is the Kuwaiti Liberation Medal because of what happened to them, uh, and we were witness to it. To give them back their lives, I know we saved a lot of lives. That was the most important thing, to give them their lives back as quickly as possible, and that's what we did when we were out there. Amazing. So just as Tim and his brothers in arms volunteered to liberate Kuwait, to give them their lives back as quickly as possible, the community is giving Tim his life back as quickly as possible by volunteering to rebuild together. And there's an absolute new brother and sisterhood here, doing all the work that my mom and I wouldn't be able to do. Um, they're family. They're, they're absolutely family. I would call them my brothers and sisters. And that's what Rebuilding Day is really all about. A restoration of self by others who care. And he's so appreciative of us, but really what, what we're here to really, we're so appreciative of what he has done for his country. And so it's a nice gift back to him. Because one thing we can all understand is that home is where the heart is. To volunteer like this is, uh, you know that America is as strong as ever. Hey, perfect. Rebuilding.